That's what we got today, all in the same nest. Um, these two chickens are, they've been laying regular, you see. They're, I mean, that's a, a green egg, but that it's normal for that chicken to lay a green egg. Um, but <laughs> I'd say because it's got maybe a couple of polka dots, that that's a welsomer or salmon favaroli, and I call these fairy eggs. Some people call them toot eggs because they're not, it probably has a tiny little yolk in it. Um, but it might not, it might just be white. And then you'll see how this egg has these wrinkles on it and no color. I don't have a chicken that lays white eggs normally. So I'm not sure who did this, but it's just they're, they've been molted and it's been winter and now they're trying to get back into laying. But that's hard. It's not rubbery. It's just something totally normal. This egg will look totally normal if you crack it. It's nothing wrong with it. You can eat it. No problems. These were laid today. But yeah. Something different. Hey everybody. How's it going? I was hoping for a better day. But. Unfortunately. It's been raining. And it's about. I don't know, 42 degrees, something like that. So, it's cool. Ain't that lettuce pretty? Huh? I need to cut some of that. Have us a fresh salad. Things are looking good. Sprouting up. Sprouting up. But, I'll show you here as we step into the, the greenhouse. Got the heater going on out here. If you stand right here in front of it, it feels pretty good. But without the sunshine, it's still a little cool in here. But we've got some plants a popping. It's a black prim. Got some basil, got an artichoke. Got a few shishito peppers are popping up. I was looking for, as you can see it's marked out, the Medusa. We're kind of interested to see how that seed is gonna go, but I'm not seeing, my door came open. I'm not seeing the, there's one right there. There it is. The master gardener said, uh, you know, we usually save our seeds or we get them at a seed swap or something like that. But she actually wanted to try this one. It's different. It's supposed to be fancy. And she paid a little bit extra for the seeds on these. It was a little expensive. I don't even know how much. She wouldn't tell me. So, But and that's a Medusa. I was hoping that since we paid a little bit more for them seeds that, you know, we're hoping they're going to be, mwah, you know what I'm saying, good tomatoes. And we got some coming up, so we're going to get to try them out, looks like. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. We got some eggplant. Now, some of these that don't have tags, as you can tell, they're wrote on the cup. And that's a jalapeno. We got a couple different kinds of jalapenos, so I'm not sure which ones those are, but they're coming up. They are coming up. And over here we've got some little snapdragons. A 
You bet. So things are still doing good in the greenhouse. However, Arkansas weather looks like we'll probably end up having to bring them in the house tonight. Because it's supposed to get down to about freezing. And I don't know if the little heater, you know, is going to, let's see, what is it here? It is 71 degrees in here. Oh, I guess y'all need to see that much. Well, it's backwards, so you can't really see it. 71 degrees in here with 36% humidity. So, you know, if it would stay 71, it would be great. But, <clears throat> this little greenhouse... Uh, it stays warm in here when the sunshine is out but not so much when it's you know freezing degrees outside there's just too many little well it needs sealed up a little bit better basically especially around the door where the wind has blowed it and you know it's bent the hinges and things like that so I could seal it up, but I don't think for one night it's going to matter much. I'm afraid I'll just have to probably bring stuff in, which is fine. You know, I'm lucky that I'd only have to bring them in for one night because, like I said, Arkansas weather, it's crazy. It is crazy. I also wanted to take you over here and show you the peas that we planted. Because, good news. Oh. I'm getting way too old. Or too stiff, basically. To keep doing that. I think I can finally take and pull some of this. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I think I can finally pull some of this mat stuff off because now that it's gotten tall enough, I don't think I'm going to have to worry a whole lot about uh, kitty cats messing with it. So I'll be pulling these up. But check it out. We've got peas. Yes, sir. They are coming right up. Coming right up. And then we've got them over here, too. We've also got a bunch of wild weeds growing up in here. Which is what my wife told me would happen when I raked all the leaves out of here. She said, I guess you know now. You're going to have weeds are growing because the leaves aren't there to choke them out. And it's looking like she was right. Imagine that. Collards. I wanted to rake them out. Listen to that. You hear that? Somebody just laid an egg. What'd you do? Huh? What'd you do? You don't want on camera. I know what she did. I know what she did. Oh, but the peas are up. Now they are not going to mind the cold weather. You know what I'm saying? They are a cool weather crop. They're not going to mind it whatsoever. Oh, she was wanting to lay an egg. It looks like the factory in here is backed up. Got one sitting on the nest. Hopefully she's broody and not just laying. And then we've got this one. They're all standing in line. They're all just standing in line waiting to lay. So she was mad because she couldn't get in there. Yeah, she was mad because she could not get in there. Whew. Oh, I 
don't know of anything else really that's you know uh, doing anything like I said the weather's just been goofy this is a, uh, <clears throat> a boysenberry or something sticker bush basically uh, it wasn't gonna go here we dug it up in a bed over by the house <clears throat> And we planted the hot pink hydrangea over there. And we were going to move this somewhere else. So I just kind of, well, the master gunner didn't tell me exactly where she wanted it. So I just kind of set it out here in a hole to hold it until we found a place. But as you can tell, it's starting to, get, it's taking root there and greening up. So it may get to stay there. Who knows? Yeah, it might get to stay there. Strawberries are doing good over here. The few that we got transplanted over here. These are the, uh, oh man, uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Garnets, black darn it maybe I can't remember because the tags have all fell out but we planted them a couple videos ago and uh, yeah, I guess you can go back and <laughs> because I cannot remember they're just flowers that's for sure but I cannot remember what they are she's still mad yeah she's still mad because they're holding up the assembly line ain't they huh they are holding up the assembly line. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm going to get out of this mud and muck. Maybe try to add a little bit more to this video. I don't know. We shall see. What you got going on? I'm trying to figure out how to get lights on all my plants. So I got in trouble a while ago when I came in and I was telling the master gardener about the, the heater being on out here and told her the temperature and how we was going to have to bring some stuff in tonight. And she said, well, wouldn't have to if it wasn't leaking cold air all around and everything. So I had to come out here and uh, redo this, uh, this hinge. That sealed that one off. But as you can tell up here at the top, got a little, couple little holes on each end. So I'm going to work on them. Uh, they had end caps on them when we first bought this thing, but you know, it's Chinese and it just didn't last very long. This is not easy doing this with one hand. Yeah, hold on a minute. Let's give this another squirt. Now this stuff is not being used for what it's intended for, but it will work. on this other side but as I was saying they had end caps on them on the outside but over the years the weather has uh, blew them off and they don't just don't work good so we're gonna do a little bit of fixing just a little fixing oh it's already it's already working oh don't tell her I just spilled stuff I gotta fix that As I was walking by, I hung my leg on that, knocked them over. So we gotta fix this. She's gonna be mm, <clears throat> not happy. If we're lucky though, we can just blame it on the kitty cats. 
hide all the evidence. Trying to do this with one hand, folks. She'll never know. She'll never know. Oh, she's going to know. She's definitely going to know. Oh, man. Thankfully, most of these plants out here are extras. Yeah, most of all these plants out here are extras. I really want to put that plant in the center, but I can't do it and hold the camera. Hold on, be right back. Ta-da! Yeah, most of these plants are all extras. Everything, all of, most of, most of, if not all of our seeds that we planted come up, and of course we planted extra. So the ones in the house are our main plants under the grow lights and these like I said are just extras. Now I've got to find Ollie because I let him outside because he was whining at the door while we were outside and now I have no idea where he went. Probably out in the highway. She'll never know. Oh, she'll know. Oh, look, an hour went by and the sun's out. Arkansas weather. Whew, and it's gotten up to about, I don't know, 55 feels maybe, I don't know. Hours all left us this morning. It's still supposed to get down to freezing tonight. So this evening I'm still going to have to carry some of these babies in. Some of these baby plants. But in the meantime, I'm headed down here to the mailbox. See if I can't. Oh yeah, look at there. Look at there. Hear that one? Quality content, folks. Quality. But yeah, I need to see if I got any of them, you know, gimmicks in the mail. Whew. Didn't bring the pooches with me this time. Yep, yeah, loud. Uh -huh. yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Not what I was hoping for. Not what I was hoping for. Whew. I was hoping, you know, that maybe the, the government or, I don't know, just a, you know, a random wealthy individual would send me a, you know, a nice check or maybe... I don't know, a brown paper bag full of cash. That would have been great. Not so much. Not so much. Dodging the mud puddles, dodging the mud puddles.
But folks, that's about all I've got for you this weekend. Or at least for this video this weekend. We may try to put something else together, but... I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope y'all stay safe. I hope you're happy and healthy. Oh, dodging the mud puddles. But for now, I am going to go. I've got, uh, I don't, but the Master Gardener has some beans going and some homemade cornbread. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So I'm going to get in here and eat. May try to get another video out for you guys later. I don't know. It just all depends on the weather and what there is to do. You guys take care. Come back and see us right here at Little Nuts Farm. We'll catch you guys on down the road. Bye-bye.